welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about fillet surface under fillet surface there are different options like constant radius surface fillet multiple radius surface fillet and surface face fillet so now i am going to explain constant radius surface fillet here i have created simple revolve feature so go to surface module select surface See the first option is constant size fillet. See when we select the corner edge, then it is showing the preview. See here the radius is constant, that is radius of 10 mm the fillet parameters option we have taken symmetric so the radius is symmetrically distributed now and it is circular See here. Now, if I select asymptomatic, so here. The two radiuses are divided into two radiuses. So here I am increasing on the bottom side. So you can see the difference. So it is extending in bottom side. Now I have taken 10 mm. In bottom side and top side I have taken 30, 30 mm. See how does it looks like. See here. So why this is given as a constant uh, fillet size because when we take the cross section the radius is uniform throughout the cross section so if i take a cross section in the right plane so the, there is the same profile in the both the sides so this is other example See when I select one of the edge, see it is creating the fillet at the single edge. So even if I keep tangency also. because whenever there is a sharp corner it stops at this location so we have to select the multiple edges so the cross section is uniform throughout this length so 
So this is about constant size fillet. See here, this is uniform. Next, I am going to explain about multiple radius surface fillet. Before explaining about multiple radius fillet, I want to say you about a tip on fillet that is if you select any edge it doesn't select in surfaces if these two surfaces are two separate bodies so to avoid such problem we have to knit surface so when we knit the surface it becomes single surface then only we can apply the surface fillet See here, it is highlighting. Now I am going to explain the variable fillet. Here you can see there are number of points highlighted. So these locations we can change the radius of the fillet radius. See here, V1. Suppose if V1, if I give 30, V to 20, so you can see the difference, there is a variation. Suppose if you want to add one more fillet radius, then we can add, select the point. So I am giving 50, I am increasing. Here also I am adding 50. So it is showing in percentage, so I can give 20. Here I am giving 10, 10 percentage. So that's how we can change the radius of the fillet. See here. So these kind of fillets are useful during product design. When we make plastic components or sometimes sheet metal components also this variable fillet is very much useful. Next I am going to explain about face fillet. So I have created two extruded surfaces. Now I am going to apply face fillet on this. So go to surface module, select fillet. Select this face, see the arrow direction and select this. So one is showing inner direction, so this one also should be inside. Click reverse direction, so it is showing the preview. So this feature is useful while creating surfacing models and joining the two adjacent surfaces which are very much near and we can apply small fillets to the adjacent surfaces. So that is the advantage of face fillet. So this is brief about fillets in surface module. Thank you.